Hello dear students, I welcome all of you to the discussion on the solutions of the mock test for NEET 2021. We will be discussing the solutions of each and every question in step by step detailed manner. Now let us proceed to the questions and the solutions. This is question number one. The question says, a telescope has an objective length of 20 cm diameter and is situated at a distance of 2 km from two objects. The minimum distance between the two objects which can be resolved by the telescope when mean wavelength of light is 6000 angstrom is order of. And there are four options 7 meter, 7 centimeter, 7 millimeters and 7 kilometers. Dear students, this question is based on the concept of the resolving power of instruments. If this is the objective and these are the two objects and they subtend an angle alpha, then for resolution the minimum value of alpha has a value of 1.22 lambda by d, where d is the diameter of the objective and lambda is the wavelength of the light used. Now as per the given question, the distance between the objects is given to be equal to an unknown value, let it be x, while the distance from the lens is 2 kilometers. Therefore, we can write down that alpha will be equal to x by 2 kilometers, that is 2000, and if we substitute the value of lambda, where lambda is 6000 angstrom, and d, which is the diameter, which is equal to 20 centimeter, we can write down that x will be equal to 1.22 into 6000 into 10 to the power minus 10 that is 6000 angstroms multiplied by 2000 and the whole divided by d that is diameter which will be 20 into 10 to the power minus 2 meters. This gives us a value of 7.32 millimeters. Therefore, the final answer should be of the order of 7 millimeters and as per the given options the correct answer should be option C. Now let us move to the next question. This is question 2. The question says when a uranium isotope 235U92 is bombarded with a thermal neutron, it generates 144BA56 that is barium, 3 neutrons and and there are 4 options in front of you, 101KR36, 91ZR40, 92KR36 or the fourth option 141BA56. Now, dear student, to solve this question, let us write down the nuclear reaction. The nuclear reaction is that the nuclei 235U92 is bombarded with a neutron. So, 1N0 represents a neutron and this results in 141Ba56. Let it be XAZ plus 3 neutrons. So, 3 1 and 0. Here and we can conserve the number of nucleons and we can write down that 235 plus 1 should be equal to 141 plus a plus 3 and this will give us a value of a to be equal to 92. Wherein for z we can write down that 92 plus 0 is equal to 56 plus z plus 0 giving us a value of z is equal to 36. Therefore, the final answer should be 92 kr 36 and among the given options, the correct answer should be option C. Now, let us move to the next question. This is question 3. The question says a short electric dipole has a dipole moment of 3 root 2 into 10 to the power minus 10 coulomb meters. The electric potential due to the dipole at a point which is at a distance of 0.3 meter from the center of the dipole situated on a line making an angle of 45 degree with the dipole axis is. The value of 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught is given that is 9 into 10 to the power 9 Newton meter square per coulomb square. And the four options are 300 volt, 30 volt, 200 volt and 20 volts. Dear student, the potential due to a dipole can be written to be equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught p cos theta by r square where theta is the angle made by the position vector with the dipole where r is the distance of the point where the potential is to be calculated from the dipole. In the given questions, the 
theta is given to be equal to 45 degree while r is given to be equal to 0.3 meters the dipole moment p is given to be equal to 3 root 2 into 10 raised to power minus 10 coulomb meter now all we need to do is substitute these values in this expression we will get v to be equal to 9 into 10 raised to power 9 into 3 root 2 into 10 raised to power minus 10 into cos 45 that will be 1 by root 2 and we divide the whole expression with r square that is 0 0.3 square and we will get a value to be equal to 30 volt and hence for this question the correct answer is option b now let us move to the next question this is question number four the question says a ray is incident at an angle of incidence i on one surface of a small angle prism with angle of prism 8 degrees and emerges normally from the opposite surface if the refractive index of the material of the prism is 3 by 2 then the angle of incidence nearly is equal to and there are four options 12 degree, 8 degree, 14 degree and 6 degree. Dear students, let us draw a ray diagram to understand the solution. Let this be the prism and on the prism, the ray is incident such that finally the ray emerges perpendicular to the opposite surface. Now herein we can write down that R2 is equal to 0. That is the angle made by the incident ray on the second surface. Now we can write down that R1 plus R2 for a prism is equal to A which means that R1 is equal to A and herein A is given to be equal to 8 degrees so R1 will be also equal to 8 degrees. Now from this Snell's law we can write down that sin i by sin of R1 is equal to mu and now since i and r1 both will be small because it is a small angle prism we can approximate sin i to be equal to i and sin r1 to be equal to r1 mu will be equal to i by r1 similarly i will be equal to mu r1 now substituting the values of mu to be equal to 3 by 2 and r1 to be equal to 8 we can write down this to be equal to 3 by 2 into 8 giving us a value of 12 degrees and hence for this question the correct answer is option A. Now let us move to the next question. This is question 5. The question says a body weighs 80 Newton on the surface of the earth. What is its weight at a height equal to the radius of the earth? And there are four options 40 Newton, 60 Newton, 30 Newton and 20 Newton. Now dear students the acceleration due to gravity above the surface of the earth can be written as g dash is equal to g r square by r plus h whole square where h is the height from the surface of the earth and g is the acceleration due to gravity on the surface of the earth if we multiply mass on both sides we can write down that mg dash will be equal to mg into r square by r plus h square in this particular question the h is given to be equal to r only so on the right hand side we can write down that this will be equal to mg into r square by 2r whole square that is mg by 4. Now dear students mg is the weight of the person on the surface of the earth and mg dash is the weight at the height h from the surface of the earth. Now in the question it is given that mg is equal to 80 which means that mg dash will be equal to 80 by 4 giving us a value of 20 newton. And hence for this question the correct answer is the last option that is option D 20 Newton. Now let us move to the next question.